not many people can experience, but for those who can, it could be maddening. It's pretty much simply known as the hum, and it's a low-pitched sound that sounds similar to a diesel engine off in the background. The problem is that there is no way for these people that can actually hear it to shut it off. So whenever they're by themselves or wherever they're somewhere that's quiet, the hum is always there. You can understand why this would be insanely annoying, right? I mean, that would drive me nuts. But according to the researchers, this affects only about 2% of the worldwide population. So if you do experience these low frequency hums, not only are you in the minority, but there's really no explanation as to why only a select number of us can actually hear it. So obviously there is yet to be any kind of cure established, but don't worry. Whenever that remedy is whipped up, we'll be sure to let you know right here on Top Supreme, Battle of Los Angeles. We'll keep things moving right along all the way back in February of 1942, where a massive event called the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, or better known as the Battle of Los Angeles, occurred. So the story goes that there was an unknown object hovering over the city less than three months after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. So tensions in the states were high, understandably. When authorities found out anti-aircraft artillery was dispensed, and over 1,400 rounds of bullets were shot at that object, but nothing happened. Eventually, the U.S. government claimed that it was simply a weather balloon, but locals and other experts didn't necessarily buy that claim. To this day, many people who were there and others who weren't claimed that it was most certainly an alien spacecraft flying over the City of Angels. But what do you think? By the way, if you want to get a shout out in our daily videos, don't forget to drop a comment and show some love with the hashtag Supreme Family. You could be the lucky one tomorrow. Now, let's get back to the video. Ghost Car. Moving right along, this next clip is spooky and, to be completely honest, sort of confusing. The video comes from a user in Moscow, and you can see that this dash cam is capturing footage at a busy intersection. Everything is normal as the car in front is set to make a left-hand turn because, well, because that's where traffic was headed. And then there, did you see that? A car comes completely out of nowhere, almost causing a vehicular accident. When you watch this video replayed in slow motion, it's pretty easy to see that the car is definitely not there before the turn was made, and it's almost as if it was transported there from a different dimension, or maybe even a different time. How do you think this was done? Or if you're from the area, maybe you've seen this viral footage on your social media, and if you have any insight, then please make sure you let us know down there in the comments. Ancient disease. Okay, let's move on to number two. Recent evidence suggests that sicknesses that were considered to be modern, like cancers and other diseases, may have been here on the planet Earth for quite a while. I'm talking thousands and thousands of years. Recently, two mummies in Egypt were discovered. The crazy thing is that both bodies exhibited evidence that, while they were living, they came down with heart disease. Then just a couple years later, another mummy was found that showed some evidence of having breast cancer. How crazy is that? All the while, we're thinking that these things are new, and they may have been here all along. Sheesh, this could have major implications in the way that we view and handle these diseases. What do you think about that? Do you feel as if these discoveries can change the world in fighting sickness? Let us know your reaction down below in the comments. Plant fossils in Argentina. Up next on today's list, we have an extremely rare fossil that recently was discovered in Northwest Argentina and ones that have some significant impact on the research and understanding of the origins of all plant life here on planet Earth. The 472 million year old fossilized species are called liverworts. And what's interesting about this so-called plant is that it managed to grow and live without any roots or stems. This is the oldest known plant on our planet. It's said to have evolved from a primitive version of algae and that this particular fossil could represent the granddaddy of all living plants on Earth right now. So I guess the only natural question to ask now is, well, would this have been edible? What would it have tasted like? It looks like it would have tasted like romaine lettuce, either that or grass. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'd be good with some ranch dressing. Moving on, Facebook predictions. All right, let's keep things moving right along. In 2016, a man may have predicted his own death by, get this, posting on Facebook. On January 14th, John Lang took to his social media to say something very eerie and very specific. Quote, 
If anything happens to me in the next day or two, it will be the result of the Fresno PD, my neighbor, and an employee at my job pay less brakes and tires on Blackstone. Creepy, right? He posted two more posts over the next couple of days, one even asking for someone with a gun to come stay with him for the night. Less than a week later, someone had broken into Lang's house, stabbed him to death, and set the house on fire. As if that's not weird enough, the Fresno police originally claimed that Lang had been stabbed in the back before his house was set ablaze. Later that day, though, they recanted that statement, claiming that Lang had committed suicide and set his own house on fire. Interesting. The Murchison meteorite. Keeping this moving right along into the next clip, we just wanted to take a moment and say that we appreciate you all hanging out with us today. Also, if you didn't know, Top Supreme releases a brand new video every day of the week, so if you haven't already done it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button ASAP so you never miss a daily episode. Alright, check this out. Each day, meteorites fall from the sky, with most of them being crushed to dust before or by the time they actually reach Earth. Every now and again, however, these meteorites could contain microfossils, which are just fossilized remains of microorganisms. Yeah, kind of spooky, right? Well, maybe not really. Anyway, there's one particular meteorite called the Murchison that was originally analyzed by a scientist named Richard Bryce Hoover, or Richard B. for short. For the record, Mr. Hoover, who was born all the way back in January of 1943 and wrote over 30 volumes and almost 250 papers on astrobiology, extremophiles, diatoms, solar physics, X-ray slash EUV optics, and of course, meteorites. In 1992, he also managed to have himself named the NASA Inventor of the Year and even holds 11 U.S. patents. Hey. Thanks, Google. Anyway, this particular Murchison meteorite has become one of the most researched rocks on the planet, as experts and scientists claim that it could be the most pivotal piece of evidence for life outside of what we know here on Earth. On it, Richard B. Hoover claims that he was even able to photograph a single-celled organism that he claims is the most direct piece of evidence to support the fact that there is indeed life outside of here, climate change. Up next on today's list is something that may come off as a bit of a surprise for some, but for others, and hopefully one day for everyone, it is indeed extremely serious. Climate change, or perhaps what is more famously called global warming, is real, and the lasting effects on our planet are indeed extremely mysterious. The science behind it actually isn't all that complex. We burn fossil fuels in our cars from our factories and more, and they release carbon dioxide. Once that enters the atmosphere, it traps in heat, and that added heat is what's warming the surface of the planet. The crazy part, though, is that it takes hundreds of years for that process to happen. So what we're seeing, in terms of global warming, is literally just the tip of the iceberg, pun intended. While some scientists believe that these lingering effects of human-induced climate change could be small, others believe that it may be catastrophic. So what do you guys think about this man-made phenomena? Do you think that it's real? Or perhaps the better question is, do you really think that with everything we rely on for travel and transport, global warming is avoidable or reversible? What could we do at this point to fix it? Fairy circles. Up next on today's countdown, we have a very interesting phenomenon that typically takes place over in Africa. And I hate to disappoint you, but we ain't talking about the fairy godmother or Tinkerbell. These spots of dry land or dirt pop up in random places in the vast grasslands. And to this date, there is really no viable explanation as to why this occurs. According to researchers, they contain no plant life or vegetation, which further pushes the mystery as to why they end up being where they are, smack dab in the middle of a grassy plains that are thriving with life. They reach up to 15 meters in diameter and occur in the most random spots. So what do you think this could be? Fossilized bird caught in amber. Okay, so last up on today's list, we have another mysterious, unique fossil for you. This one dates back about 100 million years, and this image here represents what scientists are saying is a bird caught and fossilized in dry amber that was seeping from an ancient tree. Within the amber, you can see the head, tail, and neck of this prehistoric bird, and the tree resin perfectly maintained this unfortunate bird's feathers, claws, and some flesh. What type of bird was it? Well, oddly enough, it's been attributed to be part of a group of ancient animals called 
quote, opposite birds, which I'm simply not smart enough to explain right now. Anyway, the mysterious thing here is the fact that scientists still aren't exactly sure how the chemical process works with the amber preservation process, although they do have a pretty general idea. Still, any time researchers today can analyze flesh that's 100 million years old, well, that's pretty darn cool. By the way, if you enjoy watching our videos, trust me, you will also love The Brilliant. So go ahead and check it out. You won't regret it. And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again. And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.